Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam. I have one week before I leave on my vacation and I am so very excited. But I got a little anxiety too. So stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. All right, butterflies, this is going to kind of be a potluck. It's got a lot of stuff going on in this particular video. I'm going to talk about the Jamaica trip. We're going to kind of sum up um, the whole situation with weight loss. Um, and we're going to also talk about my anxiety as far as leaving my kids. So, got a lot going on. Um... I'm excited about the trip. We leave one week from today. Um, myself and my good friend, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Um, we've been childhood friends. Um, and so we are, um, I think she's been to Jamaica before, but this is my first time. So I'm really excited. She leaves at 545 uh, next Tuesday morning. She's not excited about that. Um, she'll come into Atlanta as the connecting flight and then we'll go straight into Montego Bay, um, directly. So, um, this has been something that I wanted to do way back when, when I used to work at Delta and at that particular time, Delta was not flying into Jamaica, um, probably 20 plus years ago. Um, but that was somewhere that I wanted to go that I did not have a chance to fly to. And so for my 50th, that is um, my dream. So um, one of my little bucket lists are coming to fruition. Um, the weight. Am I still struggling with weight? Absolutely. Child, look at me. Now, I'm, look, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm fab. Fabulous. But um, exercising, yes. I think my thing is the snacking. Snacking. Having a little problem with the snacking. Um, not the best. The food, the like the substance food, I don't think I'm really having a problem with that. I'm doing pretty good with that as far as, um, you know, what I'm eating. I told y'all I only eat shrimp, tilapia, salmon, chicken, and ground turkey. That's it. Um, everything is nine times out of ten. It's very rare. I'm not saying that I never eat fried food, but it's very rare that I eat fried food. Usually it's baked. It might be seared, pan seared um, with, the, um, with the tilapia or even the salmon. Um, but everything else. Now, I got a couple of friends that have this air fryer. I'm not sure that is Dave approved, <laughs> but I may look into it um, at one point or time and see if that's an option maybe to, you know, as a good alternative to using the oven and it cooks much faster um, and you don't have the oils and all of that stuff. And I don't do oils that much. Um, I use Pam on the plate on the um, actual pan so it doesn't stick. And um, I pop normally pop it in the oven. Um, if I'm pan searing, of course, there's some oil with that. But um, I don't do flour. Flour could stay here for years, honestly. Um, so, but I have maintained. Um, I have. I went to the doctor last week. My doctor told me that maybe I should go back to eating breakfast. Not for any kind of health reasons, but he said, honestly, you lost more weight when you were eating breakfast and not doing the intermittent fasting. So the problem is I've gotten used to not eating in the morning. And so I think what I'm going to have to do is do prepared meals like um, the muffins, um, their egg muffins um, in the pan. You put the egg and um, you can put cheese and spinach in one or ham and spinach or sausage and whatever and bacon in one um you can do the peppers and the onions or a combination of all of that and so I think that's probably what I'm going to do um because I wake up 
get Janae to go to school, you know, get her ready for school. And then I come back and get ready for work and I head on out. And because I'm accustomed to it now, as far as not eating until afternoon and nine times out of 10, it's later than noon because I'm still out in the field with my day job. So um, I'm hoping that I'll remember maybe pop the egg muffin in the, um, or maybe oatmeal or something. Something's got to give. But he was like, you know, I don't see where it's really benefiting you. You did better as far as dropping the weight. And so we're going to go back to what we know. Okay. Um, so now the anxiety. I've just never been away from my babies when it's been for pleasure. And I am feeling a little guilty. Feeling a little guilty. Um, the only time I leave my kids is for work. Um, annually, we have a, a work retreat that I have to go to. And I start getting anxiety probably about three weeks before I get ready to go. Um, and we're only gone <laughs> from Wednesday to Friday, y'all. And... I, I, you know, I just don't like leaving my kids. Um, of course, Kiana has moved out. Um, she'll come back home and take Janae to school. She'll stay the night here, take Janae to school. Brianna will pick her up because he works nights and Bri works days. So just, and if y'all heard that, that's Faith. Faith is in the closet, y'all. That's where she stays. Um, so anyway, um, I... Would love to go and enjoy myself without the guilt. I'm just not sure that it's possible. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to make sure that I enjoy myself and um, enjoy something that's 25 years probably in the making. Um, I started at Delta in 1989 so it's about yeah so almost 30 years in the making y'all so um leave me some encouraging words <laughs> in the comment section to help me um get over this guilt feeling of leaving my kids they're gonna be fine you know the girls are adults Janae is self-sufficient she washes clothes cooks everything else at 12 and has been doing it probably for the last five years. So it's not that they are, um, you know, they're going to miss me. Don't get me wrong, but it's not that it, they need me for anything. Um, honestly, if it wasn't a situation of the law, I could leave Janae here by herself. Cause she's, you know, I always call her my old soul. She's my mother reincarnated. So, um, but um, the twins take very good care of her and, she, you know, she is self-sufficient. So it's not a situation where I am worried about them. I'm just worried, um, because I feel guilty. I think it's just the guilt. So anyway, leave me a comment below. Make me feel better about all of this. And, um, to all my subscribers... I love you so much. Um, and also, what did I want to say to you guys? Oh, um, don't forget Pam Meets World Healthy Lifestyle Support Group. That is a support group that we have for um, helping each other be accountable for our weight loss. And Pale Meets World Ditching the Debt. So I want you guys to make sure that you go to one or both of those. Um, great group of friends. Great group of butterflies in both um, in both of those groups. Um, and so I just want you guys to be supportive. If you think that you need some support in either health or finance, this is the perfect place for you to be. So anyway... Um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do so. Make sure that you hit the bell to let you know exactly when I upload a video. And make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. So until next time, butterflies, I love you.